really hope you can't tell that I was crying like 30 minutes ago but I am trying so hard to keep it together and stay positive right now but it's been really 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 hard it's been a rough week um I just got another reject from a job if you follow me on Instagram then you know I posted this week on Wednesday that I got rejected from a job that and it was so drawn out it was so ridiculously drawn out and the way that they let me know like they could have just sent it in an email there was no need to continue like postponing a phone call I was so hopeful in that job it was going so well I've been interviewing with them since September 9th so it was just a long process and I just want to take the time to thank everyone who has reached out to me, DM'd me, um, texted me, called me to give me words of encouragement during this time, saying that everything happens for a reason. I am hopeful that everything does happen for a reason. I'm just being directed to something better. And I love to live by this phrase, anything that is meant for you will not pass you by. And it's just something that I have to remember in a time like this, but I just got another reject from a job about an hour and a half to two hours ago and I just had a two-hour interview with them on Tuesday it was my second interview and I was hopeful that that would pull through but now I'm literally back to square one I'm understanding that there's something so much better out there for me and there's gonna be a perfect job for me and I just have to stay hopeful but I have cried so that's what's going on. Um, I did have all intention to pick up the camera tonight. I'm going to dinner with my brother and my friend Sarah and we're gonna have a great night. We're gonna just, <sighs> everything happens for a reason. Even though I have no idea what the reason is right now, but I'll know in a few months and I'll look back and be so grateful that I was rejected by these companies. So I'm going to dinner, we're going to Prado, which I love Prado if you live in the Orlando area. You probably know of Prado, it's so good. And if you haven't tried their mustard spagtini, you need to book a reservation and try it because it's really good. And I literally only get that when I go there. So I'm gonna put on some clothes, I'm gonna change, I'm not gonna wear this. But um, we're gonna have ourselves a good night, indulge in some nice Italian food. So... Hello, it is the next day. Um, I spent the morning applying to some jobs and reaching out to the hiring team, stuff like that, trying to just take advantage over the weekend and continue on with the job search. So that's what I was doing this morning. We went to go get some breakfast sandwiches from Stasio's, which is such a good place they have breakfast sandwiches um subs they have even pastas things that you can take home and cook later really really great place to go and get food but i did want to go ahead and show you guys a fall revolve haul and thank revolve for sending me these pieces to share with you guys and to add to my wardrobe for fall and when i shop online regardless of anything i am very strategic with the clothes that i buy and the pieces that i buy i want to make sure that i can get multiple uses and wears out of literally everything and especially more wears out of pieces that i'm going to be spending a little bit more money on so with these pieces i was very conscientious of 
where I'd be wearing these pieces to, how I'd be styling them, can I get multiple wears out of them, stuff like that. And I will insert a try on portion of me trying on the clothes for you when I show each piece as well. And I'll also um, share the sizes and I'll put the sizes and links down below as well. First thing I got was this Lovers and Friends sweater. It's a green sweater. It's not an oversized fit. It definitely is a little bit more um, fitted to you and a really great length. I would style this with some trousers for work with a top underneath it. I could wear it on the weekends with leggings. Honestly, you could totally not wear a top underneath and wear like a bralette and keep it buttoned up. So I love a sweater that can kind of fit into both of those lifestyles, more casual and for work. And these are the types of pieces that I do gravitate towards when it comes to dressing for work because it is so easy and I really prefer to have my arms covered. So pick this up. It does come in other colors. I just picked it up in this green color and I love it. So the next thing is this Super Down bodysuit and Super Down is one of the more affordable brands on Revolve and I do love all of Super Down's pieces. They have a really good selection of tops, pants, jackets, things like that and all for a really great price and quality is good too. So I picked up this. I thought this would be perfect for workwear, wear with some high-waisted trousers, um, you're good to go and it's an easy basic to have in your closet also you can dress it up wear it out to dinner stuff like that so i knew that i could get multiple wears out of this i got it in kind of like a heathered gray and good thing about it is that it is a thong so you won't see the bodysuit lines in a pair of pants like trousers which is Good. I also love the square neckline. I feel like it kind of elevates it a little bit rather than having like a round neckline or one that's all the way up to um, your neck. So this was another piece, really love it. And I know that I'll get multiple wears out of it and it's something that won't go out of style. It's just a bodysuit that I can wear to work and wear out to dinner. Okay, the next thing I feel like is gonna be kind of hard to show, it is a top. So I'll try this on. I don't know how I'm gonna show this. It's a top that wraps around your neck, so really focus on the try-on here. I thought this would be perfect for transitioning into different seasons. I could wear it in the fall and winter time with a jacket if it's cold, and then also wear it in the summertime with jean shorts. I feel like it's a top that I can definitely wear year-round because I do live in Florida, so I have that luxury of being able to wear tops like this year round and it can fit in basically any season because Florida doesn't have that many seasons here. It's kind of like we get a few days of cold weather and then it's back to summertime even though it's December. This is by the NBD brand. Um, I got it in a size extra small. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned that the Super Down, I got it in a size extra small too. I was a little bit worried about how the bodysuit would fit because I do have a longer torso and um, as opposed to long legs. By the way, I am 5'2", which it's so crazy because people are surprised when I tell them that I'm 5'2". I don't know if it's the camera or the way that I show myself in a mirror, but people think I'm literally like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and I'm really short. I'm on the shorter side, I have a longer torso. Sometimes bodysuits can fit a little bit weird. I almost have to size up sometimes, but um, the extra small and super down fit really nicely and it didn't feel like it was like tugging in both directions, if that makes sense. So it fit really nicely, but I did want to say that I am 5'2". I'm on the shorter side. So the next thing that I got is definitely something that I love and I'm hoping to get a lot of continued wear out of in the future. For Florida, I might not get a ton of wear, but I know when I travel to different places that does have that colder weather and those different seasons, I will get a ton of wear out of this. So I just got this red puffer. It's by the brand Lovers and Friends. Comes in other colors. I got it in a size extra small and it fits really, really nicely. It does have enough room for me to have a crew neck underneath it or even a hoodie or kind of layer it up a little bit depending on the weather. 
in the winter time i gravitate so much towards red as pops of color and i feel like it's such a good color for the winter time you could wear like an all black outfit underneath this you could dress this up you could dress it down with leggings and like a black long sleeve black crew neck and wear all black with red so i don't have a puffer i decided to pick it up in red and be a little bit fun and different and also i know that i'll get continued use out of this for multiple years in a row i feel like puffers are kind of timeless and i feel like it's something that i'll continuously pull and wear for those continued years of cold weather so picked up this lastly i picked up a pair of jeans by the super down brand and these are it is hard for me to shop for jeans i'm gonna say that because i am short and a lot of companies don't have the option of having the shorter length for people that are on the shorter side so um what i usually do when it comes to jeans that only have kind of like that one general length what i do is i opt for jeans that are a raw hem if i were to get them and they were to be too long i know how to continue on and kind of create my own raw hem in a way and kind of customize the length myself um, if i didn't want to take it in to a seamstress but the length on me is i'm 5'2 and it kind of it dusts the floor if i were to wear sneakers or boots it definitely would be off of the ground but they still are pretty long on me they are high-waisted enough but not super super high rise i got them in a size 24 and they fit the waist really well but also a little bit looser in the legs um you could size up for a little bit looser of a fit but i definitely knew that these jeans were going to be on the looser side throughout the leg so i made sure to get my regular size so that way it would fit my waist and not kind of like fall off me i don't love that look on me personally since i am short things can tend to swallow me if they hang off me like a little bit bigger so those are the last thing that i got from revolve i want to thank them again for sending me these pieces to get me started with some fall pieces for my fall wardrobe i'm so excited about them so excited to wear them so i will have all of these pieces linked down below with my sizes again it just cut me off the clip ended um but i know that when you are shopping for clothes you obviously want that quality for the money that you're spending and i can guarantee that these pieces definitely match the quality and you'll get those continued wear out of them i don't really have much plan for today i'm probably just going to sit back down and go through some jobs again i really did want to try and make time to go to trader joe's today but i might just do that tomorrow so i guess i will pick up the camera later one of christian's stores he's a liquor salesman if you didn't know i have a video actually on my channel where christian does a day in his life and it's a work day in his life so i'll link that video down below if you're interested but he does liquor sales and one of his stores gave him some ripe avocados from i'm assuming one of their avocado trees so I think I'm going to go to the store and get some ingredients to make some guacamole. I looked up a recipe online. There's so many, but I looked up one and it had like over 8,000 or almost 8,000 reviews and it was almost five stars. So I think I'm going to do that one. I'm going to go to Publix and get some ingredients to make a big bowl of guacamole so we can snack on that today and then tomorrow as well and however many days it stays in the fridge. I'm not sure, but yeah. That's what I'm about to do. Okay, I just put all the groceries away and put aside all the ingredients for the guacamole i'll link the recipe down below but i haven't tried it yet i mean you really can't go wrong with guacamole so i have um garlic and salt and cayenne pepper already but you just need avocado i think it's three regular avocados and i'm kind of adding a little bit more to the recipe because these avocados are so big so i'm doing three roma tomatoes um maybe like one and a half limes a little bit more than half an onion and then some cilantro but i'm gonna start making it right now
it is the next day and sorry I didn't vlog at all today only a few clips from this morning I was honestly just applying for jobs this whole entire afternoon and reaching out to the hiring teams of those jobs and I really didn't think you guys would want to see that so I didn't vlog Krish and I just got back from dinner I'm doing a lot of laundry and cleaning up probably about to deep clean the apartment tomorrow um i always feel so good whenever i deep clean the apartment i almost feel like lighter it's crazy yeah that's what's going on i'm remaining positive i feel like i'm trying my best to remain positive in this unfamiliar situation especially going into a week where i'm basically starting at square one with jobs so trying to remain as positive as i can and as understanding that there is something great out there for me and it's on its way and um yeah i just wanted to pop in and give you guys an update because i know i didn't vlog at all today we had um one of christian's friends in town or i guess like one of our friends so he was here all weekend and then we just went and had dinner with him and his fiance and another one of our girlfriends as well so it was nice to see them because we don't get to see them that often they all live in the south part of florida that's what we just got back from doing and now i'm just cleaning up um, probably about to take a bath to kind of like de-stress so I'm probably about to do that and then go to bed and clean tomorrow and then just get back to the grind of the job search yeah there's nothing that I can do you know like I know that I'm putting myself out there I know that I'm putting in the effort and all I can do is really be patient and just remain hopeful and all that so just wanted to update you guys i'm really sorry that this vlog has been literally so chaotic probably all of the vlogs have been recently have been so chaotic and all over the place and i'm sorry but um yeah so i'm probably about to take a bath and then finish like cleaning up doing laundry stuff like that mm -hmm. 